everyone, this is week 10 of our study in the Psalms, and we're going to look at Psalm 70 today. So let's go ahead and read this short psalm together. To the choir master of David for the memorial offering. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be put to shame and confusion who seek my life. Let them be turned back and brought to dishonor who delight in my hurt. Let them turn back because of their shame who say, Aha, aha. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. But I am poor and needy. Hasten to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer. O Lord, do not delay. First off, I love this little psalm because it's a great example for us of what a good, spontaneous, situational prayer is like. You can imagine David saying this while he's uh, going about his day. This isn't a prayer that he has to start his day or his worship service. He is in distress and he needs help. And we see that this psalm in verses 1 and 5 is bookended by by this call for God to hurry, to make haste. Uh, You can see he's under a lot of distress. And it's clear in verses 2 and 3 why he's in distress. He's being chased. He's being pursued by people who seek to, uh, to end his life, to bring him shame and dishonor. And we notice after verse 3, there's a hard break. We see that while there are people who, who seek David's life, his response is not in turn to seek their life. You see, he's trusting them to God. Rather, he is seeking the Lord. So rather than those who seek his life, he seeks the Lord. And in response, we find that those who seek the Lord rejoice and they find gladness. And and in saying evermore, God is great. See, David doesn't ne- doesn't necessarily seek a change in his circumstances, but he seeks to reorient his spirit to praise and honor of God by remembering that God is just and that He will deal justly with those who are who are wicked and who seek after His life. David can rest confidently and rejoice in God, trusting that He will, in fact, be delivered. Now, I think it's important for us to, to know that, uh, that that while David isn't necessarily necessarily looking for a change in circumstances, uh, he is fleeing harm and and destructive and abusive situations. So, don't view this text as something that, that say you know my circumstances are my circumstances. I just need to endure. Uh, this psalm is instructive for us to flee harm. That if under your roof you are experiencing harm or or being endangered, flee by all means, run. And then as you run, trust in the Lord for him to be just and to deliver you at the proper time. So may Psalm 70 be instructive for us as we spontaneously go to God throughout our day, trusting him to do what is right and just so that we can respond with joy and gladness, magnifying the name of our God because he is great and greatly to be praised.